Hey everyone, this is Sean and I'm super excited because today I am going to be unboxing the Surface laptop. So my wife actually decided to sell her Surface Pro 3 that she's been having for a few years now and buy an upgrade to a Surface laptop. So this is the Core i7 model, 256 gigabytes with eight gigabytes of RAM. And let's go ahead and start unboxing this. Graphite gold, ooh, look at that. That is a beautiful device. Now I find it kind of interesting because Microsoft started out with the original Surface revolutionizing the two-in-one design. However, over time, they've slowly been evolving back to this laptop form factor. Uh, so when my wife was uh, making the decision to upgrade her device, we looked at many different devices and it turns out that this slim laptop with a touchscreen design met her needs perfectly and so this is what we decided to go with. So I am very impressed. This feels very nice in the hands. It feels solid. It's got a good amount of weight without being too heavy. All right, so let's take a look inside the box here before we look at the surface laptop itself here we've got some reference material some of your standard agreements that you'll see uh, in the box okay and then we also have another box uh, inside the compartment this larger box contains the power cord this is what you see with all the other surface devices all right let's take a quick little peek under here uh, nope no other surprises now for the main action the surface laptop on the left hand side you have one USB port and one audio jack and one mini display port for connecting to an external monitor. Uh, let's go ahead and get the Surface plugged in. Alright so you'll see the power cord is on the right side of the Surface. Uh, you can see when it's plugged in there'll be a little a light that shines telling you that uh, power is flowing into the Surface laptop. Okay, it feels very good. The swivel feels very good. It's well weighted so it doesn't really uh, lift up the base if you open and close. Okay, alright, so let's go ahead and get this thing set up. I'll be setting this up fully from start to finish and also show you how to upgrade from Windows S to the full version of Windows. Hit that power button to turn the Surface laptop on. And the first time you boot up, it will take a moment to start everything. Okay, so first of all, you'll want to select your language. Then you'll start to hear from Cortana. Cortana will walk you through the setup process. Okay, so next uh, select your region and then select your keyboard type. Make sure you select your proper keyboard options. Read all the agreements and agree to them if you agree. Uh, next, you'll want to connect to Wi-Fi. After that, uh, your Surface Laptop will check for updates and download any updates if it has any. Okay, after it finishes installing all the updates, it'll ask you if you want to set it up as a personal computer or a work or school computer. Select your appropriate choice. And then after that, go ahead and sign in with your Microsoft account. This is a really crucial step if you want to access all sorts of services such as the Windows Store, uh, such as being able to sync between devices. Go ahead and sign in with your Microsoft Microsoft account if you have one it is optional so you don't actually have to set up a Microsoft account you can also use Windows hello to uh, set that up and have it sign you in with just your face but we're gonna skip that part for now you can enable or disable Cortana Cortana is actually a great voice assistant so I do recommend you enable Cortana check your privacy settings and disable or enable options as is appropriate for you and that should be the last step your computer will restart it might take a few minutes to start up then you will have your new windows ready to go some people might have a huge surprise when they first start up uh, the surface laptop because it comes with a version of windows called windows 10 s which means you can't download traditional desktop software you can only download items from the windows store however if you have the right version of the Surface Laptop, you can actually upgrade to Windows 10 Pro to get the full version of Windows for free. So let me show you just an example. Let's say I want to download Google Chrome. So you go through all the regular process of downloading Google Chrome and installing it, but before you can even get to install it, 
it'll immediately tell you that it cannot run the file. But what you want to do is you want to go ahead and upgrade to Windows 10 Pro if you so please. Now, let me let me preface that and say Windows 10 S is awesome for students or if you have kids and you don't want them to download random software. If you want a very controlled environment, if you're part of a school, this is great. Or if you are helping maybe a family member or a friend who is less familiar with PCs or prone to viruses, then Windows 10 S is awesome and you can actually get a lot do a lot of stuff in the Windows 10 store. Uh, that said, uh, for power users uh, and people like myself, uh, we want the full version of Windows 10. So let me go ahead and show you how to get the full version of Windows 10. In the Windows Store, go ahead and type in Windows 10 Pro and you will see at the very top there is an option to update your Surface Laptop to Windows 10 Pro. So go ahead and select that option and it'll tell you, you can see that it's free. Again, depending on which version of the Surface Laptop you have, if you have the cheaper version, then you might have to pay $50, I believe it is, to upgrade to Windows 10 Pro. But if you get the more expensive version of the Windows 10 Laptop, then the upgrade is included for free. So there's some information here telling you about the difference between Windows 10 S and Windows 10 Pro. Uh, but go ahead and select the Start Update option, and it will actually reinstall uh, and update your version of Windows 10 to Windows 10 Pro. This will take a while. Your computer may restart several times, so be patient. After this process is done, you will have Windows 10 Pro and can download any software that you so please. Okay, so it is just uh, getting ready to wrap up now uh, the update to Windows 10 Pro. And voila, I am now ready to dive into my new Surface Laptop, actually my wife's Surface Laptop. And there you go, that was the Surface Laptop unboxing and setup video. If you found this video helpful, enjoyed it, do hit the like button. If you'd like me to do a review, let me know in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching.